Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the brilliant artist, Paul Cézanne. Born on January 19, 1839, in southern France, Cézanne's life was filled with diverse experiences that greatly influenced his artistic journey. Cézanne grew up in Aix-en-Provence, surrounded by the stunning landscapes of the French countryside. His love for nature and its beauty can be clearly seen in his artworks. Take, for example, the Gulf of Marseille scene from El Estac from 1886. This masterpiece captures the breathtaking view of a serene coastal landscape. Cézanne's deep connection with his surroundings allowed him to infuse his paintings with a sense of serenity and tranquility. During the late 1880s to early 1890s, Cézanne embarked on a series of landscape paintings that are truly remarkable. Works like Landscape from 1888 to 1890 reflect his fascination with light and color. Cézanne expertly used vibrant hues to depict the changing seasons, creating a visual symphony for the viewers. One of Cézanne's most iconic subjects was Mourn Saint Victoire, a majestic mountain near his hometown. His obsession with capturing its beauty is evident in paintings like Mourn Saint Victoire from 1887 and Mourn Saint Victoire and the Viaduct of the Arc River Valley from 1885. Through careful brushwork and a keen eye for detail, Cézanne captured the essence of this natural wonder, making it come alive on his canvas. But Cézanne's talent extended beyond landscapes. He also had a unique ability to portray still life and human subjects. House in Provence from 1886 showcases his mastery in capturing the vibrant colors and textures of inanimate objects. In his portrait works, like Portrait of Madame Cézanne from 1886 to 1887 and Madame Cézanne from 1886, he depicts the essence and personality of his subjects through carefully observed details. Cézanne's experiences and exploration of different subjects led him to push the boundaries of conventional art. In works like The Large Pine from 1888 and The Bather from 1885 to 1887, he experimented with form and perspective, moving away from traditional artistic norms and paving the way for modern art movements.